Immigration police detained a 33-year-old Russian, Anton Bogdanov, on his arrival in Phuket. He was nabbed and taken to police headquarters in Bangkok. We're told that the operation was carried out at the request of the United States and a Russian embassy official has claimed that FBI officials were on hand. No word on the charges, but recently three Russians have been arrested in Thailand at the US request. One on charges of financial terrorism, another on charges of hacking and money laundering, and a third charged with piracy. In the capital, building is fast becoming child's play. That's as Lego is opening its first official store in Thailand. The Danish maker of the most famous of building blocks moves into Siam Paragon, with some 300 Lego toys, 32 of which are exclusive products available only at certified Lego outlets. Christmas prices will range from 180 baht to over 30,000. A Kopangan woman was arrested in the capital yesterday, charged with computer crimes and fraud. It seems that she invited people on Facebook to invest in funds with amazing returns and used a well-known military leader's name, claiming that he was family to give herself credibility. Nearly 1.4 million baht was raked in from just one person. She's denied all the charges, but has two other outstanding warrants around the country. A British holidaymaker who took British Airways to court after claiming he suffered a back injury after being sat next to a fat passenger on a flight from Bangkok has lost his case. Stephen Prosser tried to sue for £10,000, citing personal injury and loss of earnings after being forced to squeeze into a seat next to a 23-stone, 6-foot-4 man. He claimed he was unable to work properly for three months afterwards. The court dismissed his claim, saying that he could easily have taken a wander during the flight to stretch his legs. Meanwhile at home and in patio, a rather special celebration at City Hall as the entire city staff, led by our new mayor, paid respect to senior monks and made merit, commemorating the 40th anniversary of Patia City becoming an independently managed administrative zone. A Chinese man who claimed that he went into a walking street go-go but didn't want anyone to talk to him claims that one Nubile worker attacked him when he turned her away. The 25-year-old came off worse for wear at 2.30 in the morning. Staff had a different story. They say he was drunk, rude and had wandering hands while refusing to buy anyone a drink. In the end, he refused to pay his own massive bar tab of just 140 baht. Police ended up trying to make sense of the quarrel. Siambri at the top of Kautalo has filled the shelves with UK Christmas specials. The Yorkshire duo have surprised customers with a huge range of festive chocolates, cakes, Christmas puddings, in fact everything right down to the traditional advent calendars. Crackers are a good deal there too. And yesterday saw the shop very busy, so we recommend listeners get there while stocks last. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 30, dropping down to 22 tonight. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.